So one thing I want to talk about is organic search as a marketing channel. Um, when we think about SEO, a lot of times we think about that as a tactic, and it is a tactic. Um, but understanding the organic search channel is really important, and I want to talk through that. So the first place I want to start is with the old consumer decision journey. So this is the consumer decision journey that was literally created in 1898. Um, the guy's name is Elias Lewis that, that created this, and it's the AIDA model. Um, awareness, interest, desire, and action. Many companies still use this funnel process today. And it's not a bad, it's not a bad way to look at the world. Um, if you read some of the book titles, like you know, The Bookkeeper or The Financial Advertising, some of, these, you know, some of these things say as the kind of model to catch the eye of the reader, to inform him, to make a customer of him. So this old school thinking still survives today. But this model has really um, evolved lately uh, into something totally different. And it's what we call the new consumer decision journey. And a lot of people have attempted to put graphics on this. There's been a lot of studies on this. Forrester Research has spent a lot of time on this. Um, you know, PricewaterCoopers has spent a lot of time on this. A lot of these consulting firms. Google did a really good job. They, they published a study in kind of late 2012 called um, Google Zero Moment of Truth, zeromomentoftruth.com. And this is their representation of the new consumer decision journey. I don't know if you can see a lot of lines, but the idea is that um, historically, consumers were pretty linear. They would start at the top of the funnel and kind of be guided down toward the bottom. And as content has become more pervasive, and as mobile has become more accessible, and as information has become more accessible, consumers are, um, the way they think and the way they consume has changed. And that study has, that study among others has proven that um, individuals that might touch a brand in, in, in one channel, um, you know, or a different channel two or three times in total now are, are seeing that brand and corresponding with that brand four or five and six times. So that relationship has really increased. Further in that study, they, they tracked 3,000 shoppers and they tracked, um, they, they monitored those shoppers online and offline. And what they found is that those 3,000 shoppers share with their friends, you know, asked for advice, uh, searched, you know, went and checked out a bunch of different websites. But the most saturated channel was online search. So every single one, every 3,000 of 3,000 of those online shoppers visited an online search engine, and most of them visited more than once. And it was the most saturated channel. And I think that's a key takeaway as you think about you know, the, organic, the organic search channel SEO. And again, that historically prevalent thinking of SEO is something we do you know, after we build our website. Or, oh, we're looking to redesign our website, let's talk to our SEO guy. You know, an SEO's role isn't really to like fix your site and make a search engine friendly. I mean, it kind of is, but really what it's about is taking the organic search channel and, and integrating it into everything that you think about it from a marketing perspective, because that's how people use the internet. And that's how people find information these days. When you, when you look at, this is kind of our representation of kind of the digital marketing landscape. So starting with market research and you've got kind of audience analysis and segmentation, understanding the decision journey, um, looking at your competition, there's a content strategy component of that, obviously, the content creation integration component, and then the engagement side where you're actually advertising through earned, paid, known media. Um, and historically, people look at SEO as, hey, let's do SEO when we're creating and integrating content, and let's monitor SEO in the earned media component of our channel management. Maybe we can throw some links at it. They look at it as like a tactic. It's really not right, the right way to look at it. What we're finding now, I think, more and more is that like I would say CMO, I think a lot of times bigger organizations, but whether it's a director of marketing, whether it's a VP or a CEO or a CMO, people are becoming more educated. They're starting to understand this channel kind of concept. And I think what we're seeing more, hopefully what we see in general is that the organic search channel touches every component of the digital marketing kind of ecosystem. And if, you know, I won't go through all of them, but as an example, audience, right? So how do you know who your audience is? One of the best ways, of course, is through keyword research. The decision journey through keyword research again. And as you look at every one of these different pieces, SEO touches all of them, organic search touches all of them. So at the end of the day, people are getting this, but still, it's still on us as a community to kind of push our own agenda. If we've chosen this as our line of work and our profession, um, it's on us to, to you know, communicate that and make sure that um, people are getting awareness about what we do.